Welcome back. So, not to be <laughs> in any way religious, but working on Windows sometimes can be kind of annoying. This worked on Mac right away, but on Windows I get this error when I try to actually do the installation of my REST API. So this is the first run I did uh, and it crashed. The problem is it cannot figure out how to do this bcrypt, right? So this is just one of the tools that we need to actually encrypt our passwords and decrypt our passwords. It also has other functions. But I can't install that on the Windows machine because we don't have Python installed. Now I'm not going to install Python on my Windows machine because I don't want to. We could, of course, that's one solution. There's a lot of different solutions out there. Instead, I tried to figure out, okay, so if we can't use this tool right here called Bcrypt, what else is out there? And I found another tool called Bcrypt.js and I thought, why not try and install this one instead? I read some post that says it's pretty much the same thing, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, so I want to try and use this instead. So what we're going to do is we're going to take bcrypt and replace it with the, the old bcrypt, just to show you guys. And I just found the version here, 2.3.0. It's on NPM, so it's easy to use. So what I did was I went into my source code that it just generated for me, and then you go down into the package.json file, and here let me just undo. Oh, whoa. In the old code it said bcrypt, here in dependencies, bcrypt and an inversion and we're going to change that now into actually being bcrypt.js and then the version of 2.3.0 just like I saw here on the npm platform right now okay so we're just going to change the way we handle bcrypt so that we don't get this error anymore and now that I've, in, I've changed the package.json file all I pretty much have to do is just run an npm install again of course I need to save because I didn't do that so I save and then I just run the npm install again and everything should be running. I'll just let this run just to show you the end result. So I already installed it so I'll get something like this but now it's actually installed and that means that now I can actually write npm just like his guide here says and there we go. When you're done with this you can actually write npm run dev to try out your environment. So I'll try and do that. npm run dev and now it should actually be up and running on the Windows machine. So it says we've started and uh, it pops up here saying where it should actually be able to run this. So that's the fixing the issue of decrypt, but there'll be another issue showing up in a second. So have some, have fun.